Step one is identify those conservative assets in your portfolio and see how many years worth of income you have in those conservative assets. Most clients have enough to outlast the average bear market out there. The second step is try to refrain from making emotional decisions out of fear during bad markets or during scary markets. I know it could feel, but when I watch the financial news and look at it for more than five minutes, they really do a good job of keeping you hooked and kind of raising that fear factor. But really, it feels like a roller coaster sometimes during bad markets, but the only people that get hurt on roller coasters are the ones who try to exit or jump out in the middle of it.